sockeye salmon from Alaska. This is just fresh in off the boat with some sorrel sauce like they do in France. It's a famous recipe, sockeye salmon or salmon and sorrel sauce. This sorrel is from my garden, grew it this year. We're going to use some seafood stock, some crema, some vermouth, and some little bit of oil. And uh, I'll have the recipe up later tonight on my Facebook page. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start making the sorrel sauce. This is the sauce that the salmon is going to be served on. I already have a cup of um, fish stock in the pot. I'm going to add another cup. So two cups of fish uh, stock and then two shallots sliced in there. And then we'll go ahead and put this on the stove and then we'll cook it down until it's a fine glaze. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get the salmon prepared. Uh, we want to get the salmon even so that it cooks evenly. Um, it cooks very quickly. So you don't want to overcook one side of the salmon and not the other. So what we're doing here is I'm going to go ahead and put some peanut oil on either parchment paper. This is some wax paper here. You take the filet, put a little bit of peanut oil on top of the filet. You don't want the parchment or the wax paper sticking to the filet when you're pounding it. Put that on top. Then I'm just going to take a regular mallet, a kitchen mallet, and slice it. Don't pound it really hard because you're just going to cause a bunch of mush. What we want to do is just lightly hit it with the mallet until it's even consistency. Again, that will ensure that the salmon cooks quickly and evenly. Okay, now I'm going to show you the sauce is boiled down. It was the fish stock boiled down to a glaze. Now we're going to add a third of a cup of white wine. And three tablespoons of dry vermouth. that going. Okay, once you put the alcohol in, go ahead and cook it down until it's bright and syrupy. About five minutes. All right, now that we have the sauce down to a, a bright and uh, saucy look, we're going to go ahead and add one and a fourth cups of the crema, the creme fraiche. Uh, we didn't have creme fraiche at the store, so I just used crema. You want to cook that for about two minutes um, until it gets a little thick and syrupy. This is what it's going to look like when you're cooking it. Then we're going to pass it through a sieve, a real fine mesh sieve, and then uh, we will proceed to put the sorrel in and season it. Once the about two minutes the cream is cooked, you want to go ahead and add this into a fine mesh strainer. I'm using the china hat here. Always helps to have two people, but Emery, can I get you to hold that while you're filming? Get all that cream out. And what we're going to do is we're going to run it through this hat so it takes all the chunks of out chunks of uh, shallot. So this takes a little while. I'll come back when it's finished here, and we'll finish up with the sorrel. 
the cream uh, through the hat. You want to add the sorrel from your garden. And I cut this sorrel up. You want it to uh, be fairly small. Now you want to put it on the stove, mix it in gently with the cream so it goes down. It'll, it'll, it'll probably melt. The sorrel will melt down. But you want to be real gentle with it. So about 25 seconds on the stove and then we'll add the seasoning. Incorporate it into the cream, the sorrel. You don't want to burn the cream so don't get it too high. I have it on medium high heat. Now you want to add butter, swirl it in. This is a half a cube of butter. So I have it chopped into four pieces. So you want to add that, swirl it in, then add the next piece, swirl it in, and do that until all the butter is incorporated into the sauce. Butter is going to give it a nice flavor as well as a real nice shine to the sauce. Okay, once the butter is incorporated into the sauce, then you want to get some lemon. I have a half a lemon here, fresh lemon juice. You want to squeeze that into the sauce. Make sure you catch those. seeds. Okay, let's stir that in. Now be careful not to break up the sorrel too much because that's the part of the dish that really is flavorful on that salmon. Now you want to add some salt. Some salt and some pepper. I'm using molten salt. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cook the salmon. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the salmon now. Got the pan really hot. I'm going to put the salmon toys in. Season with a little salt and white pepper. Okay, cook these about 15, 20 seconds per side, and then they should be done. Okay, the salmon's been cooking for about 15, 20 seconds. You want to turn it over. It's almost like sushi. You don't want to overdo it. No oil in the pan necessary. Just dry pan, hot heat. 